John, this is John Dunn. I'm at the uh, IMS 2019 show. And what I'd like to demo for you today is a new PDK with the new company that we're associated with. The company is called 3D Glass out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And they have a technology for chip filters, uh, which has some advantages over, for example, say silicon chip filters. It's lower loss. And the way they do this is they actually make the chip out of a combination of glass and air. Uh, the advantages are lower loss, lower power consumption, uh, and smaller footprint. So let's take a look at it. Uh, you're looking at a filter that was uh, designed in 3D glass uh, right now. Uh, it's a distributed filter. Uh, it is a uh, interdigitated filter designed to work at, I believe, 28 gigahertz millimeter wave frequencies. And what they've done here is if we kind of zoom in on this area by the first feed, uh, this would be where it would attach to the board, of course, and they would uh, surface mount attach this filter. You can see we're coming in the first port. Uh, we go up the vias and then we go on to the interdigital filter. What's novel about this is the way they make this filter is we actually start with glass here. We metalize the bottom, of course, and then we put the filter on top, the interdigitated filter. So far, nothing very novel. But then what they do is they actually etch the glass away everywhere except right under the filter in a very narrow rail which supports it. Essentially, the filter is almost suspended in air, leading to extremely low loss. Uh, if we go here to the 2D uh, layout, uh, it's, it's a little difficult to see, but let me go ahead and zoom in here. And here's our filter, and where my cursor is, this small metal rectangle, that's the only glass left. All the rest of this is air. To finish the filter, the next layers are also air above the filter, and we then finish with a glass substrate above, again metalized. So essentially it's a strip line filter, but it's surrounded by glass. Of course on the sides we have our metal ground, also to support, the, to keep the top glass from coming down to the bottom. Um, I can show you some results for it. Uh, we're using a PDK that we developed uh, that's very nice for the users, uh, taking advantage of a lot of P-cells, uh, a lot of tricks, uh, extremely easy to change the cavity size, the spacing of the lines, etc. Uh, let's take a quick look here uh, to finish up. Here is a, a circuit schematic for the filter, and we've included models. Uh, these are modified strip line models and uh, you can work in the modeling environment. Uh, you also, of course, can optimize. And that's indeed what we're gonna do, all in the schematic optimization type environment. Let me show, and then of course we can EM it. Uh, to EM it uh, for verification and final optimization, we're gonna use Analyst. It is a very 3D structure, and Analyst is the obvious tool. So let's take a look at the results. So we start here, uh, if we go ahead and simulate, should just take a second. And there we are. And what you're seeing here is the return loss uh, for the linear model. So this is just standard models return loss. Here we are still in the world of models. Uh, they've optimized the response of the filter. And you can see it's meeting its goals now with the optimized models. Time for the EM. This is the uh, optimized model now uh, running EM. And we actually put EM into the loop here. Uh, we were very close with the linear uh, optimization already with just the models. It only took a few EM simulations to zero in on it. And we're verifying the filter with EM. Finally, uh, this is not exactly the same filter, actually, but with a similar filter, you can see the measured results uh, carried out by 3D Glass. You can see uh, the analyst simulation, uh, the good agreement, of course, of the passband, and the uh, reasonable agreement 
uh, with the Ripple uh, in the past band. So that's about it. Uh, we're excited to see, uh, be partnered up with 3D Glass uh, to have a new PDK forum and uh, allow designers to use this new technology. Thanks very much. Have a great day.